Hey folks, Ben from CarryPad.com here. I just want to give you a quick demo of two different browsers. Uh, Safari, which is the default iPad and iPhone browser, and this new one called Atomic Web, which I have now downloaded thanks to a tip from Jen over at Pocketables.net. Let me tell you, I never thought I would find a suitable replacement for Safari in the App Store, but Atomic uh, Web has done just that. So, I'll just show you uh, sort of what makes Atomic Web really good. Um, it uses the same WebKit rendering engine that Safari does, so it's basically a reskin Safari, but it's got features that Safari doesn't have. And the features that I like are the fact that you can launch and manage tabs much more easily and much more quickly than Safari. It's got customizable gestures, and I have it set so that two fingers up launches a new tab. You can see in the tab bar up here. So I can just quickly launch a bunch of tabs. Two fingers down, closes. Close all those tabs real fast. And uh, two fingers to the right or left moves between tabs. And I will show you the speed that you can launch three sites in both Atomic Web and Safari. So we'll just start here. So there's three, th three sites that I've pulled up uh, in Atomic Web, and I can switch between them this quickly. And now let's try to do the same thing in Safari. So there I'm able to pull up the pages about as quick using the bookmark bar, but switching between tabs, though it doesn't seem like it takes that long, it takes a few seconds each time. And when you're dealing with a lot of tabs, it's quite a pain to go through this menu. It doesn't feel like the most intuitive thing. With Atomic Web, you can have your tabs loaded at the top of the page and switch between them very, very easily and very quickly which I think is awesome, and it really enhances the web browsing experience on the iPad for me. So there you have it, Atomic Web on the iPad.